Captive Air factory built crease duct is designed for easy installation. No welding or special licensing are required. Simply take field measurements and make sure they match the duct installation construction drawings for your job. The factory drawings include a schematic with piece numbers that correspond with each of the duct sections. It is helpful to dry fit the duct system together before installing the sealant. Then, start with the lowest section and work your way to the top. When dry fitting, it is not necessary to add any of the additional insulation to the duct, but you should include the outer bands of the duct whenever they rest on supports. Captive Air offers different fitting angles and adjustable sections to allow for variables in the field. Once the system is dry fitted and supported, it is very easy to remove each piece, seal, reinstall, and permanently tighten all single and double wall V-bands. Per the listing, 3M Fire Barrier 2000 Plus is the only sealant that may be used to seal this duct system. Sections must be clean, dry, and frost-free before sealing. When installed properly, this sealant will seal a duct system so it is leak-free, and at the same time will control the spread of fire before, during, and after exposure to open flames. For outdoor installation, you must seal any seams that may allow rainwater to penetrate the ductwork. This includes the outer double V-bands, field seams in the adjustable section outer wraps, and it may include factory seams and rivets in T-assemblies. The only exception are the outer V-bands on any access doors. Airflow, fans, and equipment cause vibrations, and heating and cooling can cause bolts to loosen. It is extremely important to use the specified hardware. All threaded rod, hanging hardware, nuts and washers must be half inch 13 grade 5 or better. You must also ensure that all hardware is tightened correctly. Some jurisdictions having authority may require a smoke test to make sure all the joints in the duct system are leak free. Do not use any smoke bombs that contain chlorinated chemicals. If a smoke test is required, we recommend the use of a smoke generator. Once all inner connections are sealed and V-bands are installed, cover both ends of the duct and insert a smoke bomb in the lowest point of the duct run. Carefully examine the duct for any leaks. If any are present, reseal the section and test again until there are no leaks present.